What is going on YouTube people? My name is Nate and today I want to talk about Call of Duty 2015 and its setting. It's time to be specific, to be particular. Not a, it's its location doesn't matter as much. But when Call of Duty 2015 is going to take place and I've got two very 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 good supporting arguments to support this claim and I am confident. I am sure. I am 87% positive. Call of Duty 2015 is going to take place during the World War II time period. Now, I've got two notepads stuck to my computer monitor, mind you. I don't want to forget this. And they both are, um, I, at least I think, and a, a couple people who one-upped my comment on YouTube, also think uh, makes a lot of sense. So, here, I'm, I'm just going to try and dive into this. I, there's not a lot of context needed. So, remember Call of Duty 4. It was a very groundbreaking Call of Duty game, and it was developed by Infinity Ward. And the reason it was so groundbreaking is because it broke away from the norms. It broke away from the World War II era so many FPS games were stuck in. Medal of Honor, ba Battlefield 1943, all of these took place during World War II, and so many of the big AAA FPS games were also in World War II. Call of Duty was in a World War II time period until COD 4. And finally, when this modern shooter comes out, it instantly blows up, and it's a success. And it's for two reasons. One, the multiplayer was brilliantly incorporated, and two, it's that it finally broke away and it finally delivered a fresh experience, something new. And the community and the gamers who played it loved that experience. And it was incredibly popular. Instantly, game developers mimicked it and they started also making um, modern, postmodern shooters. Now, who out of any studio, all of the major AAA FPS studios, who, which of them stayed and made another World War II game, World at War to be the particular of any of any development cycle? Treyarch were the Treyarch was the ones to stay with World War II. They were the only only studio to make another World War II game. Well, they the only AAA studio, I guess you could say, that would end up making another World War II based game, World at War, and it was it. it in all honesty, I think that most people feel as though the game fell flat, because so many games had already been during the World War II time period that the community was kind of exhausted from it. It was it was, it was, was all drained of World War II hype, and um, that. So when World at War comes out, it was like, what's what's new about this? And um, they had right to be angry, I guess you could say. And it, it fell flat because of that. And the developers, Treyarch, they knew that it would be a safer bet to go with a um, postmodern or a modern shooter, but they didn't. And... Uh, my theory is that they really have a passion to stay in the past. The developers really like it, the studio feels a bit more comfortable with it. Now, how do I support this argument? Well, let's jump ahead to Modern Warfare 2, developed by Infinity Ward. Now, this game, wildly fantastic. It was, um, it was brilliant, okay? This game, I mean, even if you, if you didn't like it, if you say you didn't like it, you secretly liked it. But, um, it was a, it was a really well done game, and it got very positive reviews, and it was it sold incredibly well. And Treyarch still opts to stay in the past. Black Ops 1 took place during a Cold War era, and it still st stuck and stood true, st yeah, stood true to the past, and it even continued upon the World at War storyline. So finally, we'll jump ahead towards Modern Warfare 3, best-selling game of all time to that day. Finally, Treyarch says, okay, we'll go modern, with Call of Duty Black Ops 2 taking place in 2025. Even then, however, the, many of the campaign missions were still past-orientated, Cold War-orientated, to be specific, 1960s-ish, early 1970s-ish, and it still, it still had to do something to stay in the past. Now, granted, it did support the narrative, I still have a, I, I have a feeling that they also really like the past. Now, I have another argument to support my claim as well. And um, this one, I think, is a bit is, is a bit better. Now, a lot of people, there's been four Call of Duties in a row that have taken place in a modern or postmodern era. Modern Warfare 3, followed by Black Ops 2, followed by Call of Duty Ghosts, followed by Advanced Warfare. All of these have taken place in a modern or postmodern era that we have grown accustomed to, and noticeably many people in the community have voiced their restlessness with this era. They have been drained of the postmodern era just as much as they were drained of the World War II era. They, they, it's, we've seen so much of it that I think a lot of people are restless of it. They're sick of it. So, um, I think that something, it's very likely, and I think Treyarch acknowledges this, that's very likely for something similar to what happened to COD 4, for a World at War 2, so to speak to be so successful because it breaks away from the modern norm that we're in right now. Battlefield 4, um, Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Ghosts, all the Call of Duties I listed, Titanfall, all of these, 
um, particularly um, the games I listed, have a postmodern feel to it, right? Futuristic, I guess you could say. But it still seems a little bit modern. It's still got that modern feel to it, and all of these games have been orientated around the same thing. All of these have been modern, postmodern. And to break away from that for Treyarch, it seems like a brilliant idea because the restlessness of the community would love it. Everyone who's been complaining, I don't like the modern era anymore, such as myself. Um, it would satisfy us greatly, and especially to see a World War II game on a next-gen console, that'd be brilliant. And a lot of people in the community have voiced similar opinions, and it makes it just makes a lot of sense. Do, do what COD 4 did. Break away from the norms. Break away from what society says of you, I guess you could say. Break away from that, and you will have yourselves a brilliant Call of Duty title. Everybody, thank you for watching. My name's Epic Nate. If you feel a rating is necessary, please leave one. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye, everybody.